What's up? What's going on, everyone? Juice Packs here and playing with the EV2. Hell yes, this thing is just badass. Now, um, I went on and got two two EV2s up to level 50. I'm still working on a third, just uh, as really a filler. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet, so I haven't really worried too much about it. But I got my DPS and my builder squared away. So we're gonna do a little Nightmare 4 tonight. Let's see. Who else am I gonna need? I think I'm gonna bring my Abyss Lord. Alright, let's do it. Let's see, let's start off. Uh, well, let's do a little warm up here and start off on the easy ones. We'll go with uh, the Gates of Dragonfall in game incursion, Nightmare 4. Spotlighting the EV2 a little bit. So kick ass. So let's see if I can remember exactly what it is uh, I should do here. Get on. Yeah, it makes it. Hmm. Cocks it over to the side a little off funny. I think I'll still get coverage. Yeah, I don't think that'll be a problem. Alright, so I'm going to throw a couple summoners there, summoners there and there. I think I need, uh, oh, I need to get, get some walls laid down before I can do anything else. What's going on, Zarnoth? Oh, I'm good. i uh been playing mainly, of course, on the PS4 lately, but i just been, you know, it's a little bit of a lull right now on the PS4, and of course, uh, i got the EV2 now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Loving it so far. Let's see. Let's go. Go way up here. Same thing with here. Let's go. Uh, let's go right about there. Unicorn, what's going on? Don't care much for this uh, this costume. I don't know. Meh. Whatever. Gives me something to be able to tell them apart right now, so and that's uh, half the battle. <laughs> Get a little reflect wall in there. Now, these torpedoes on these reflect walls actually hit for a decent amount. So they're going to sit there and do damage as they're running. Attack damage, 71,000. <laughs> that's awesome. <clears throat> so that kind of takes care of anything that's going to be... Oh, compared to the Abyss Lord, I, I would agree. There's Arnoth, it's a bit... Now, on that same note, where the Abyss Lord was already pretty ridiculous... My god, you throw buff beams on top of it. Zarnoth, I'm just kind of playing solo right now. I would uh, love to do something with you sometime. But uh, right at the moment. Oops, wrong one. Anyway, right at the moment I'm just kind of playing solo and screwing around. I still got a... Uh, got a sad wife at home and yeah, she's at work right now she'll be home here soon her uh, one of her cats died and uh, a little too soon after her dad dying just last month or whatever so I'm not sure how um, how long of a stream this is gonna be I'm gonna try to go as long as I can of course but uh, 
we'll see. All right, now let's get some. Now with me with building, I've one thing for certain: the proton beam. It's like massive CC. I mean, it's as as good as multiple frosties. And I'm just gonna spread it around. Whoop. Can't remember the the units that I'd like to use for this map, but um, I did play around with it once. I did one run, and uh, it went so smoothly. The I tell you what, one of the things that uh, seems to me is missing about the EV2 is as the skill spheres as a builder. There's just not many options. It, it seems to me like it's 100% designed uh, for a little while, Unicorn. The uh, the Huntress is going to be out of the picture for a little while just because the EV2 is new and exciting and fun. <laughs> I mean, the Huntress is still obviously pretty insane DPS. What a lot of people don't realize is the highest DPS is actually a monk, believe it of all. Now, of course, that's pre-EV2. We'll have to see how this goes. I'm, I'm able to put out 200k against the dummy for pretty decent sustained amount of times. On uh, the EV2 here. Hmm, I don't feel like I spread that out enough. Or that, for that matter. This one's okay. Yeah, um, I had a... I'm going to put a video out on it. I, I haven't finalized the gear set. But um, a guy sent me a build, a monk DPS build, and it's stupid OP. It's, uh, you know, I'll put a video out on it as soon as I get the, the set finished up, but I've just had terrible luck grinding out monk gear. But right now I can put out close, well I can spike over 500,000 DPS on my DPS monk, and that's actually low compared to what it can do once you get the yeah I'm actually not even using Dragolich for my EV I it feels to me and I haven't I haven't found any boots with run speed on it yet but as a DPS character it feels to me that it, it moves a little too slowly so I'm bringing along a sandstorm pet for the speed buff now most maps maps it really doesn't matter but on uh, some of them, like the new incursion, it makes quite the difference. All right, where was I? Just rattling along. Yeah, the from what I've seen so far, I'm going to be playing EV DPS for probably a while. I can't wait for it to come to the PS4. Because it really, really is ridiculous. It um, it matches. It actually matches my playstyle really, really well. And of course, that's important. You know, you wanna, you don't want to force yourself out of your normal playstyle. Let's see. So I screwed something up here. How much is this one? This one was a hundred. I'm gonna sell that for now. I'd like to put one archer right on top of that tree there. And then another one just down on the ground. These guys, of course, are un unbuffed. Let's see. Okay, so that leaves me 70, so I can put a 70 DU buff beam right here, which isn't going to be very much. Um, you don't even have to use Serenity, Unicorn. 
it's actually more about the passives. I mean, obviously, it involves the uh, healing wave. But if you get the passive stacked on that, and you pop just with the gear that I've got, which is completely in, it's nowhere near complete versus what the guy told me to do. I'm, you know, I'm spiking over 500k, which I was not able to do. On, uh, ah, man, I gotta redo something here, which I haven't been able to do on my Huntress yet. I mean, I've had times where Drag Lich was up and Poisonous Tips on top of me from a friend where I hit that. Let's see, we need to spread this out big time. But it's really, really crazy. And, um, I, I, to be honest with you, I think with a perfect set, from what I've seen so far, I think if you had a perfect set, you could easily hit a million damage per second. Well, not easily, obviously. It would require a perfect set, but nonetheless. Let's see. Is that going to leave me enough? That leaves me a 1 for 10. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, you know what? Let me just... I can't come to a uh, happy conclusion here. I want it to end on this side. There we go. All right, now I got one. I can do a 90 in the middle, and that one was fine. All right. Get these really spread out here. That's pretty good. Same thing here, though. I wanted it to end on this side. That's all right. It'll work. All right, now what's up first? Oh, anyway, the way I'm getting my monk or my EV2s geared up so quickly, of course, is I'm utilizing the hero deck to make sure all I get is EV drops. So when the rounds are active, all I'm gonna I'm gonna be on my DPS, but uh, I'm gonna have nothing but EVs in my deck. So other than specials. All I should get is EV gear. Which is awesome. Let's see. The proton beam, it doesn't do as much damage, I don't think, as I'd like to see it do. But it is just amazing CC. Especially once you get uh, those passives on there. Where are they? I don't even think I have them all. Yeah, crappy weapon. Yeah, that frosty proton node. Three percent chance, and then of course you can get it on uh, on a relic as well. And that's really what I'm banking on. And it it really is uh, just just the natural slow on it is pretty incredible. So I like to park right here, and then I can uh, I pretty much got full reign of any of the flyers I need to take out but this is a uh, just an awesome spot and of course you just do just amazing amounts of damage and uh, this beam you can get back up so quickly and uh, with the skill sphere for the extra hundred heat it just it just gets it done I mean it's awesome and I don't mind uh, I don't mind having to like strategically find places to post up and hang out it doesn't bother me at all then of course this bad boy also goes through walls <laughs> so I mean basically you can find yourself in range to use it in just a lot of really really awesome ways this gun I have is a complete POS but I like the way it shoots I actually wish I could find a 4 per second version of this gun with ability power on it or some sort of elemental effect and I would be a very very happy person 
because I, I definitely like the feel of it. No, you don't use Pole Slam. All you do is um, you use the little healing wave and drag a lich, and that's it. And you stack crit. You get your crit to 30%. You stack. Uh, all you do is stack crit damage and melee it up. The Pulse Match, I mean, obviously you can still use it if you're in a pinch or whatever. But anyway, I'm not going on about the Monk right now. I'll have a video of that up. As soon as I can uh, get all the pieces that I want to showcase it, I don't feel like it's doing the build justice if I pop in at 500,000 DPS. I think that's that's not doing it justice. But anyway, the EV, however, I, I don't know. I I've got a feeling as easy as I've been able to get to, to uh, as easy as I was able to get to 200,000 damage per second. I've got a feeling on the EV that uh, it could end up uh, smashing in over top of that for sure. Some more arches. Now I first saw the passive on this one for the freeze, and I was like, man, at 3%, that's bullshit. It should be like 20% or something like that. And then I uh, remembered that it uh, it goes like three times a second. It triggers. What is it? Let me see. It's uh, yeah, 0.3 seconds. So barely over three three times a second. Well, I mean, 500,000 DPS is obviously ridiculous, but. I don't want to uh, say, hey, look, I can do 500,000 DPS with a build that can do 700, 750. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't want to... Uh, don't want to mess with it quite yet. I spent an entire day farming, a day off work, farming the the stuff, and I just I just couldn't get the stuff I needed. I ended up did getting, uh, did end up getting some nice upgrades for my... My Builder Monk. <laughs> Man, this Proton Beam is... Or Proton Cannon, I guess this one's called. Is just... Ridiculous. And you can. You really can keep it up for a long time. Get rid of that heat real quick. Yeah, it just, I mean, it just melts packs because it goes through everything. Oh, you'll get there, Unicorn. I'll show you guys. Just, uh, I'm not going to turn this stream into a monk stream. But when I get out of this match, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Like I said, I don't have, uh, I don't have the gear I need. I'm not at the crit yet. And I've got uh, bad passives on a lot of stuff. See if I could find... If I could slim down... It depends on the weapon, Unicorn. This particular weapon, this is actually a builder weapon. But I like the way it fires. I wish it was 4 per second instead of 2 per second. But I really like the way it fires and... Um, and it gets rid of heat just insanely, insanely fast. And um, it definitely depends on the weapon, though. I found some that... I mean, all of them get rid of it pretty quick. But some are definitely faster than others. All right. What do we want to do here? I think it's all about the archers, really. I'm going to get these guys all all the way to the up. All the way to the top. Good enough. I think my walls are good. 
The only reason I have a walls there at all is just in case. I actually debated on whether or not it would be better, since it's the same DU, to put an archer there behind that reflect shield. But, um... But I've stuck with it. The, um... I like the, uh... Abyss Lord walls. But they cost so much. You know, you get get some extra DU out of it if you use the uh, the squire or apprentice walls. Yeah, it just melts stuff so quick. Well, I mean, it's ticking for it looks like it's 50, 58,000 a tick. So I mean, this flyers with two hundred thousand health or whatever. It's just no match for him. I think, really, this is probably the the build I will go to. The, the EV, there's definitely several ways to play him. And uh, one of the one of the ways I'm not a big fan of yet. However, I absolutely love this. So, all right, we got an ogre. Let's get to work on that guy. Crappy, crappy legendary there. Haha. <laughs> well, Unicorn, I am certainly glad they don't, because, uh, don't have a pack to buy Defender Medals. Because I got a feeling I would be spending money. <laughs> Which, I guess I'm spending money anyway when I am always buying these new characters with gems. But it would give me an additional thing to spend money on, and I don't need to have another damn thing to spend money on. <laughs> the whole shooting through the wall thing is pretty ridiculous. I mean, it takes just nothing to burn down packs. Now, um, you know, if you were parked in a position where, where Dragolich could reach, I haven't tried that out yet. Oh, that was a, or yeah, that is a crappy. Crappy totem. Getting some action on this beam over here. Now, when you buff the beams, it makes them even better. But anyway, right now, they're popping off every 0.3 seconds. So, three shots a second each time for 4,500 damage. Plus, it gives you the CC and the 3% chance uh, to freeze. And it just... Love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, we're all good there. Let's see. I didn't get the beams. I talked about them. Well, I mean, if you're willing to spend money on Defender Metals, Unicorn, you can always spend money on gems and buy the character. That's what I did. Alright, so we got flyers from two sides this time. Got these the the little kobolds used to give me such a hard time. I mean, you always got to worry about burning them down. Just running on this map on Nightmare Four Incursion, even with everybody's current gear, you still always had to really be very careful and try to give them a little DPS on top of uh, all your traps or whatever. Oh no, not with the EV. Uh oh, we got a flyer got out over there. Is he getting wrecked? Yeah, he's getting wrecked. Alright, now which side? I better get back down here. Uh oh. Let's get these flyers out of the way and then get some 
damage in on this ogre. How is he not... Or there's another ogre is why. I was going to say, how is he not taking any damage here? He got melted. I'm going to have to reposition for this ogre, I think. Or no, he's getting destroyed too. So OP. Uh, PS4 um, Abyss Lord is supposed to come early June. I'm really, really hoping that that means like within the first couple of days of June because Whoop. I got uh, I'm gonna have a nice little three or four day weekend <laughs> there that first week of June and it would be really awesome if it comes to the PS4 then I'm willing you know the PC I've talked about it to many people um, I, I plan on playing primarily on the PS4, but right now we're kind of at a standstill, waiting for uh, the new content. So the Abyss Lord and the EV here, I didn't mind putting a few solid weekends into. I've got about a full day's grind. Well, not even. When did it come out? Yesterday morning? So I've got half a day's grind, probably. P.O.S. Into the EV right now. But that got him where, where he's at right now. Let's see. We're actually looking pretty good. I think everything is up. Oh, the buff beams. I didn't talk about it, but the buff beams, the biggest impact it has is just by putting it down. Gives you a 25% attack rate boost plus the damage boost. It doesn't actually increase that much when you upgrade it though. It does. It barely changes the attack rate at all. And watch the DPS. We're at 234.016. If I up it, 243. So 7,000. I guess that's not terrible. I'll quit whining. <laughs> uh. It's not going to double it or anything. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. <laughs> Y'all ready to go for the PS4, huh? That's awesome. I, um... I've got some gold saved up, and I've got some gems. So I'm ready to go for the PS4 expansion as well. I could get, um... I could get another item off of the wheel, but I'm tired. I, I've dumped... I don't know, probably 30, 40 million into it. And I'm done with it. I'm burnt out on it. And I'm to the point now where there's like one piece that could potentially be an upgrade. I think it's like boots on a apprentice. But, um, you know, I'm going to be grinding all of this. Oop, I didn't even realize the boss was there. <laughs> I'm going to be grinding uh, the shit out of the maps to get gear for the EV and the uh, Abyss Lord, so. So I know I'm gonna get, um, have no problem finding a pair of boots. That'll be a nice little upgrade. Ooh, didn't burn those guys down quick enough, huh? Man, so ridiculous. It reminds me of the uh, the pea shooter in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. <laughs> I guess there's been lots of games that have had uh, this type of mechanic in there where you stay stationary. You mount yourself and become a unstoppable killing machine. There's a few maps where it's kind of convenient to do that right behind the reflective shields. And, oh man, you got some serious, serious TV watching.
Yeah, I've got... I've, I've got an overwhelming amount of buffs and pet food and all that stuff on the PS4, too. Actually, I need that inventory pack to get released. Because I'm, I'm eating up a lot, a lot of space with that stuff. Now, the Mission Madness thing should be in place. I'm not sure what time um, it's going to roll over. Let's see what we got. Oh, another crappy. Hmm. You get a lot of weapons, but I'm just not finding one that I would need. And that's got 5% crit on that head is nice for my builder, but I don't... The weapon manufacturer damage I'm not into. Is that when it goes? Midnight Eastern Standard Time? So that would be... No, that would be past right now. Right now it's 12.30 Eastern Time. I'm on the West Coast, so it's 9.30 for me. Or almost, you know? Yeah, you don't get much good stuff. 